What's the deal with prison commissary? A prison commissary is a store or a canteen within the correctional facility. Commissaries sell hygiene supplies like toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo, stationary supplies like writing tablets, pens, envelopes, and postage, food, non-perishables that come in bags or boxes like ramen, soups, or chips, no jars or cans, and clothing like sneakers and sweatshirts. Many people operate under the assumption that a prison or jail provides everything an inmate needs to live. It doesn't. The facility will provide a few travel-sized items to people when they're admitted, but after that, they're on their own. If you're thinking, so inmates need a store, why is that bad that they have one? Here's your answer. Commissary becomes problematic for three reasons. First, most inmates can't afford what the commissary sells. Because a prison commissary has a monopoly in every facility, the lack of competition keeps prices high. When they're paid nothing or less than a dollar a day, many prisoners can't afford what they need to stay clean or keep in touch with their family members. Second, because there's nothing left for inmates to use in its place, commissary items become currency. Commissary is used by inmates who have more to control and manipulate those who have less. It's the source of a lot of conflict. Lastly, it's another way for companies to profit off incarceration. They make billions with a B every year. It behooves these businesses to have more people in prison because it expands their customer base. Correctional facilities will distribute supplies to people who have no money, but the standard of indigence, meaning how little money you have to have to qualify, is very low. Usually it's whether you have less than $5 in your trust account for longer than 90 days. Commissaries do provide some relief to prisoners if they have the money to spend. Otherwise, the commissary system is just another parasite.